so in the last video we have seen which files and folders are created when we create a new flutter project and in this video we are going to see how to create a new virtual device so for this purpose i am going to use the android studio uh, we can also use the visual studio code as well but in this video i am going to show you how to create a new visual device or the android emulator using the android studio on windows you just need to click on this button right here avd manager and once you click on th this you will see this dialog where you can see there are different options so for example you can see uh you you can already see that there are two virtual devices that i have created but to create a new virtual device we can click on this uh create a new virtual device button in the bottom and once you click that they, it will show some uh, options let's see what are those options and how to create a new virtual device so click on this and you will see a pop-up again and from here you can see there are different options uh, on the left and what we can do is that we can click on the phone and it will show some you know the uh, operating systems and devices here and the sizes and the resolutions a lot of information going on here uh, but to uh, but not one thing that you need to choose the phone from the left category because we are going to develop the apps for phones right now just click on the uh, whatever option you want so for example i want to create a new visual device for pixel excel i will choose that and i will click on the uh, next button in the bottom you can see the next button here i will click on that next button and here you can choose the android operating system there are different operating systems showing on here so for example you can choose the latest one the android 11 you can also uh, download the previous versions as well so for example android q android oreo android nugget so i have the r downloaded so it may take while as well depending on your internet speed to download these operating system because the, it can yeah, they, they vary from uh, 1 GB to 2 GB in size. So I will click on R. I will choose R here and I will click on next button. And from here, I can name this device if you, I want to. But I think AVD name is, uh, you know, it is representing the device correctly. Pixel XL API 30. And here I can ch change the device if I want. And here I can change the operating system if I want. And I can specify the startup orientation but i think i am okay with portrait and from here i can choose emulated performance automatic hardware software so for example if i choose hardware it will you know use the gpu i think and from here i can choose if whether if i want to show the uh, device frame around the virtual device or not i think i definitely want to show the device frame because it looks nice and if i click on the show advanced setting it can show more options to you so for example the camera the back uh, camera the network latency emulated performance so for example the hardware boot option quick boot cold boot uh, so multi core gpus you can also specify this if you want you know maximum performance out of your emulator uh, you can also specify the ram the vm heap internal storage sd card device frame uh, custom skin definition if you want here are some of the definitions that are available and uh, or you can also create a new custom hardware skin i can also specify if i want to show the keyboard input or enable the keyboard input via this option you will be able to type from the from your keyboard uh, to input in the in this you know device so i will click on finish once i click finish it will take some time depending on your you know system configuration the ram the processor etc etc so here you can see that it created a new pixel excel api 30 uh virtual device for me very quickly and if i click on this green button right here the play button and now this device will start as you can see here so the pixel xl 30 is starting right now it will automatically 
you know install all these things uh, and get ready once it get ready you can try to run your project i.e the flutter project on this device and we are going to take take a look on this process in the next video so see you in the next video